what about the international community? Like, I hear all the time how these other countries like Sweden, Australia, they have large Muslim populations. Are, are these people, those people are Syrian refugees? Or, like, I'm, help me out here, Abby. Are, are, what does Sweden, what does Australia say about Israel? Forget the U.S. I know we're on the take. Question. What about other countries? You know, I think other countries are way more open. Like you see BDS campaigns and pro-Palestinian groups that have existed for the last decade in these other countries. You've seen politicians from Sweden, Australia, speaking out on behalf of this. Absolutely. It really all comes down to the censorship of American press that don't tell us th that these people are speaking out against it. And, you know, and not seeing the rallies and the solidarity. I mean, God, when the Gaza massacre was going on in 2014, I think, thousands of people in the streets of Europe. Um, on behalf of Palestinians. So it's definitely way um, bigger, more popular around the world, but they look to America ultimately and say, hey, um, there's absolutely nothing we can do as long as America is propping this country up with over $3 billion in aid and, and military might every year. I mean, there's really nothing you can do until the U.S. stands up, until U.S. citizens stand up to their own government and say, we refuse to support this insane situation. And you know what? You need to tell them, Abby, that we can't <laughs> stand up because we got sellout media. Like, yeah. I tell people all the time, it's like it, the media is the most powerful thing we have in this country. I mean, if the, if people knew, what, if, if everyone could hear what you're saying now, and if everyone was became educated on this, they'd be concerned. I believe in, I fundamentally believe that people are fundamentally good people. And Absolutely. They, they have no idea. You know what I'm saying? And and if we don't have media telling people, like for instance, the seven countries we were bombing over the last eight years, mm -hmm. most people had no idea. They just knew about Iraq. Like they didn't even know, we you know, we dropped bombs in Somalia. They didn't know, like they, they had no clue. So when you bring it up, it's like they, they get negative. It's like, well, you know, what are you talking about? You're talking bad about Obama because I'm like the first time they've heard it is coming from me and he was a black president. So they kind of freak out and lose their shit a little bit. <laughs> No, dude, this is what was going on while you were, I don't know, while you were watching him do the dab or watching his wife, you know, dancing on Ellen or whatever. This is right. what was going on across the world. They just weren't telling you. So how can we help lead the international community if we can't wake people up because we have, a, you know, a, a media that's that's sold out? Oh, God, man, that, that's the, I don't the know, ask Abby, question, like, she's got, you know what I'm don't saying? Ask Abby why she's got all the answers. Like, you been there, Abby. You know what we got to do. Just what tell us what to do, do Abby. Shit, let's go. <laughs> let's go storm the Capitol right now. I mean, seriously, it all starts with, with people like us, Tim. People need to become the media, citizen journalism all the way. We have the tools at our fingertips. I mean, more capabilities now than we ever have to utilize the internet, utilize these apps on our phone. I mean, film any injustice that you see, stand up for your brothers and sisters who are being oppressed and marginalized around the world. If you see anything, stand up, speak on behalf of them, speak out. There's so many other people who believe in these things, especially in the Trump era. We have a huge ability to bridge this gap, to reach out to each other and to really build the momentum here because Trump is a fucking nightmare. And I think people are waking up for the first time, which is great. Welcome to the party, baby. We've been fighting the U.S. Empire for a long time. Come on board. Join the fight. But like you said, the media, it all comes back to the media. Um, and I think that one of the great things about this is that I think a poll just came out that 67% of young people and do not trust the mainstream media at all. They do not watch the corporate media. If they do, it's probably to make fun of it. <laughs> um, and so that is huge, right? So there's this huge opening for independent journalists to seize that energy and not let these alt-right um, platforms like Breitbart and Infowars take that energy and take it. You know, it's, it's interesting because Bannon and other people have taken and hijacked that kind of like sentiment where, where a lot of people are disenfranchised and with the system and are, are living in poverty and they just blame the symptoms, right? So they blame immigrants and refugees and, and people who are already oppressed and marginalized and say, they're the reason why you're suffering. They're the reason why this country is screwed. So we need to, we need to really redirect people over to the real enemy here, which is US empire, militarism, imperialism, colonizing these countries and usurping the sovereignty of countless um, nations around the world uh, meanwhile, thousands of people are dying from the system of structural violence that uh, is continuing with our economic system. Booyah. Booyah. Boom. That's what I'm trying to tell you guys. Hold on, guys. 
That's the boom right there. Look, guys. Ab Abby, I want you to tell people where to go. Now, they see your, their Twitter link. Tell people where to go to find, find out more about you and also about your show. I mean, you, you, do two, you do two shows, three shows. How many shows you do, Abby? So I do a podcast with my brother called Media Roots Radio, available on iTunes and Stitcher. But my main show right now um, with my partner, Mike Prizer, we work for Telesaur English, which is a Latin American conglomerate, of course. Uh, you know, once again, it's corporate or state media, right? Unless you're, you're donation-based, Tim. It's a really hard climate out there. So we're doing a weekly documentary series where we are trying to tell the stories uh, that have been backpaged, that have been censored from American history books and telling the stories from the people's eyes, the people's perspectives of what's going on in the country, what the U.S. empire does, um, reporting from a world shaped by war and inequality from essentially the American empire. So it's on Telesaur English, and you can check it out at theempirefiles.tv. We're huge fans of X-Files, so we thought that that kind of worked together as the title. <laughs> That's excellent, man. Empirefiles.t Empirefiles.tv Media Roots Abby. Um and, and look, look, Abby, you are amazing. You are a serious fighter for truth and justice. I got your back. Anything you need from me or my audience, you got a message you want to get out, just let me know. Uh we want to just support everything you do. Give it up for Abby Martin one more time, guys. Thank you so much, Tim. You're amazing. Uh, I'm trying to hang. I'm trying to catch up to you, Abby. <laughs> Anything you want to tell the people before you leave? Any last word? I, I don't know. I want to let you have the closing statement. Yeah, I just wanted to say that again. The time is ripe. Don't feel. Don't be oppressed by fear. That's exactly what the establishment wants. We, they want us to be terrorized. They want us to be fearful. They want us to be dividing and conquering each other. No, uh, we need to unite. We need to form that multicultural progressive front. Um, we need to mobilize in mass in the streets. It's the only thing that's ever changed policy. It's the only thing that's ever moved this planet. And we need to be a part of it. The time is now. Get out there, guys. Let's do it. Wow. <laughs> Abby, you need to lead rallies. That's what you need to do. Wow. I'm pissed. I'm, 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 I'm pissed. You are passionate and you got the goods and you know your stuff. And I told everyone, I said, Abby's going to come over here and kick some serious butt. They thought I was playing like, oh, she's going to be <laughs> nice, you know, and be kind with everybody and just give you lots of information. No, not at all. Thank you so much, Abby Martin. Thank you so much, Tim. I appreciate you. I, I'm going to uh, text you the link to the show and do with it as you wish, please. Thank you so much, Tim. Rock on, everyone. Peace. You know it. Thank you. I want to thank you all for... Uh, for being here tonight, this is a very this was a very important show, and this is what being independent media means. It means we can bring Abby Martin on to talk about something that she probably won't get to talk about. What I mean, probably, if Abby could get on MSNBC or CNN or a huge outlet, and that's why she would want to do it because she cares a lot about the miss the mission of helping these people, advocacy, journalism, advocacy. She'd be doing it, but the doors are closed, and that's what that's what we're so about, man. Is is getting awareness on issues that matter. Of course we gotta live indoors, of course we gotta make enough to take care of our families, but we can also, also talk about important issues, get the word out and help our brothers and sisters, whether they be here in America or whether they be abroad. I truly believe in it to the bottom of my heart and I know Abby does. So I wanna give a shout out to Abby Martin once again for being here and sharing her time and sharing her heart and, sh and sharing some harsh, hard stories to telling, telling those stories again. I also want to give a shout out to Lee Camp for uh, just having her on and then reminding me, oh yeah, let me go back at Abby and let me try to get her on again because uh, I, there are people who care, guys, right? And, and, and we're doing the best we can to, uh, to use all our resources, what we have, to the better good. That's it, guys. I'm Tim Black for, Tim, for TBTV. <laughs> for TBTV. And though... I'm upset, I'm frustrated. It kind of hurt my heart a little bit too to hear about these people's situation. We got concentration camps. And it just puts a lot in perspective, doesn't it? I'm not saying our issues aren't real issues. Dead is dead, right? Poverty is poverty, but I, I can't, I'm gonna leave it there, guys. I'm just saying, it just puts a lot in perspective, but also the same the same white supremacist ideology that's occurring in Israel is occurring in the United States and other countries as well. It just manifests itself in different ways that make it harder to spot. So that's another thing that's going on and that's real talk. Until we talk again, do me a favor, 
Don't you let nobody take your cornbread. And stay strong, stand tall. Peace.